We're out here today again at Elliot Heads. We're just going to try this area along here. It's pretty shallow right now. We've got an incoming tide, high tide in about uh, four hours peak. Um, and we're waiting for a little bit more water to come through. And we're going to head around the corner there where um, a place called Shark's Nest is. It's quite a deep hole around there. And um, we'll have a little drop around there and see if there's anything amongst the sort of rocky cliffs there. And hopefully we get on some fish. Anyways, let's rig up and let's get going. Alright guys, so I've just gotten myself a new rod. Thought I'd uh, retire the 6'6", six 1-3 six, kilo Shimano that I've been using with this reel. I uh, still love this reel, it's still my favourite. I've had it for almost 10 years now and it's still going strong. And I decided to give it a little bit of a new home on this uh, new Daiwa Air 2-4 kilo 7 foot rod. And I'm um, hoping I can uh, take its virginity today and catch a couple of fish. So we're going to rig it up with some bait and see what's biting out there. So right now we're just sort of drifting with the current. We're going that ways anyway. I'm not in any rush to get to that spot. And it's kind of nice to explore this area anyway and have a look on the sounder and see how deep the holes are around here. So, all right, we're making our way around the corner near the shark's nest. A bit deeper water. Should be out of a little bit of this wind. The wind's not too bad at all. It's just pushing the kayak around. So I may as well anchor up and uh, get stuck in hopefully a successful afternoon session. Wish me luck. And there we go. A little bit of a deep pocket in here. We'll have a few casts. Well, that's an encouraging sign. Got eaten straight away. That's a great sign. Well, I'm not really sold on using these circle hooks. But again, if a big enough fish comes along, it's going to swallow that bait anyway. Nice little bites. I'm enjoying this rod, that's for sure. Feels really crisp. It's got an extra fast action on it, so it'll only bend about the top 15, 20% of the, of the tip of the rod, and the rest is all butt power. They're having a good laugh at me for dropping that piece of mullet. <laughs> I know what I am going to do though. I'm going to switch over to a suicide hook. I don't like gut hooking them, but... I need to take the chance to uh, try and break the Elliot Head's curse. There we go. There's one. Yes. That's what we've been waiting for. This feels alright, but then again, I don't really know this rod that well, so we'll see. It feels pretty chunk. Nah, not really. <laughs> Just a good old fight and grim. 
zip rim. Oh no, it's a little grunted, that's why. Oh, there he goes. Not a very graceful release. So there's fish out there, other than puffer fish. And hey, we christened the rod, so that's a great thing. Now if we can just land one that's about three or four times that size, it'll be great fun. Yes, there we go. That feels all right. Well, I said that about the last one. Oh, a couple of nice head shakes. Oh, good. It's, it's a bit bigger. Oh, we got another grunter. What's the next size up anyway? Oh, another great release. We might have found a nice little grunter hole. Yes, there we go. We're on again. Yes. Oh. oh all right. I don't want to say he's massive because the last two weren't absolutely massive, but Jesus, it's great fun. This is already three. I'm calling a grunter again. Let's see. Oh, it's a nice brim. Get a better look at you, mate. Great, he just jizzed all over me. Thanks, mate. Not massive, but a nice little brimbo. We'll let him go. All right. Well, I only just picked up this rod today, this this morning actually, probably about four hours ago. So already it's uh, it's paying for itself. I'm pretty happy with that. And the rod feels super crisp to use, really nice. I feel like I've got enough power in the in the butt here to to lead them around where I need to, and enough sensitivity in the tips there to feel the slightest bites. Look at that! I'm getting nibbles straight away. Oh. oh, yes, we're on. He's smaller, definitely, but now that's four in the bag. Oh, it's a little uh, crescent grunter or target fish. This thing, look at it. You can hear that buzzing along. All right, mate, off you go. Oh, I, I did get him. Nice. Judging by the weight from the other fish, I don't think this will be massive, but no, I can even see it from here. Probably a nice little grunter. Oh, it's another one of these uh, crescent, crescent grunters. Yeah, look at those spikes right there. Ow. That's good, mate. Nice. These aren't big fish though, but man, I'll take that over all those puffer fish that I caught last time I was here. Nice, he just pooed everywhere. Thanks, mate. Mm hmm. Thanks, mate. Off you go. Mm mm mm. Absolutely picturesque here. Just gorgeous. Yes, all right. Nice. That's the way to do it. 
Only small, I can just tell, but still really finicky at the moment. So I had to drop the rod tip and uh, let him take it a bit. Yeah, real tiny. <laughs> Gorgeous colours on him. All right, mate. Get big and strong, eh? Well, I think we might make a move. I mean, we're getting little bites, which is encouraging, but I haven't caught a decent fish in a little while, so um, I think we might head back to where we started and a uh, little bit of redemption, hopefully, in that same area where I was catching all the puffer fish. I'm, I'm keen to see if there's something bigger cruising through. It's quite deep there, so... And it's about 3.30 now, so really I've only got about an hour and a half left of fishing, and it's going to take probably half an hour to get there anyway, so... Um, yeah, we'll pack up and get on the way, eh? Take a look how crystal clear that water is. It's beautiful here. I think we'll spend another half an hour here having a quick flick around, seeing if there's anything on the tube. If not, it's been a good day. Oh yes, we're on. Beauty. Oh, that was well played. Oh, I just sort of dropped the rod tip a bit. This feels all right crystal clear water so I'm curious what's uh what's around here what is that a, is that a nice brim though yep nice little brim I don't know if you guys can see him there all right come here mate we'll get you sorted I'm gonna hold you upside down so you don't crap on me <laughs> all right there we go Oh, he might be just shy, but still. God, these are good fun. All right, mate. There he goes. Well, this place has quietly redeemed itself just in this one session, so it was definitely a good decision to come out here again and give it another crack. All right, Kings and Queenies, that's going to be a wrap for the day. We had a great session this afternoon. All things considered, last time I was out here, all we caught was puffer fish, and before then, very little. So I'd say it's actually probably more like a great session out here. Couldn't have asked for a better day. It's absolutely pristine out here. Perfect wind, water clarity, everything. So I really enjoyed myself today, and it's made me feel really good. I'm riding on a bit of a high now. So unfortunately, it's time to pack up. Anyways, guys, if you made it this far through the video and you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe for more content like this. Anyways guys, look after your mental health and I'll see you in the next video.